So first thing I, I'm going to talk about tonight is Graxpert. Graxpert or Gray Expert or however you want to say it um, is free. And as you can see, it's uh, it supports uh, Windows, Mac, and Linux, which is terrific. And what's really wonderful is it is a 64-bit uh, program, and it reads and writes XISF, 32-bit floating point native PixInsight format. So you don't have to step down and lose bit depth as you would if you were going into Photoshop for something. And what it is, is a fantastic gradient removal tool. And I dare say, perhaps in most, although there have been a few exceptions, I find it superior to DBE, dynamic background extraction, which is very powerful and saves a lot of uh, images that would otherwise be doomed. Uh, but let's take a look at Braxpert. We're going to use this guy and i wanted to keep that stretch off because when i put the, i wanted you to take a deep breath and make sure you were sitting down because when i do put that stretch on you're going to see some uh, extreme nastiness so this was a one-shot color camera uh, at new mexico skies of all places i'm going to save this out on the desktop i may already have it actually when you download graxpert for free it doesn't install to the to the hard drive it it, it kind of sits as an executable and i'm going to open that it's really easy to use you go up here and of course we do want to background extract, load our image. It's this one actually. Okay, looks even worse here, doesn't it? You have an option for stretching. It's not infinitely variable, but you can remove it, put on a 10%, 15%. Twenty or thirty percent stretch, and we do want to do want to display the points. We'd like to see where they are, and you can adjust the points per row. I haven't really found it necessary to change uh, really any of the defaults. The grid tolerance is really good, and you'll click create grid. See that everybody? Maybe I'll put my little magnifier on there again. So. Just going from the top, background extraction, load image, you set your stretch here. We do want to display the points so we can see them. Shouldn't have to mess with this stuff for the most part. Create the grid. That's what I just did. Now, it's great about avoiding stars. I think it's a bit better than DBE. And, and as we know, even with DBE, even if we've got something sitting right over a star, DBE knows to ignore that, but it's a waste of a sample point, right? So we'd want to put it in a more useful area. But if you notice, it's really good about avoiding stars for the most part. You can drag them around just like you would a DBE. And here to delete a point, we right click. And so trying to get a little bit further away from the extended arms of uh, the hamburger here and lots of sample points in this problematic red area you can add your own and just you know have a look make sure nothing is amiss and when you're ready you'll hit calculate background now i'll swing over there again with our magnifier there are three different interpolation uh, methods. There's RBF. I can't tell you what it stands for. It's probably in German, even if I knew what it stood for. And I know that Krieging is German. Uh, but I find, although Krieging is supposed to be the higher quality algorithm, uh, I find the default algorithm of RBF uh, to be uh, by far my favorite. 
And then when you're ready, you'll, you'll click Calculate Background. I'm the operator with my pocket calculator here. And when it's done, and you can see already it's done a wonderful job, you can look at the original version and the processed version, and you can also view the background itself. And as we talk about with DBE many times, right, gradients are typically large scale, very smooth structures, not really that complex. And that's really what we want to see, not bumpy, very quickly changing uh, type of uh, structures. And you can actually save the background if you like. I'm not sure why I wouldn't want to do that, but certainly want to save the processed version and say process. And actually, it doesn't matter what you're viewing here. As long as you say save process, that's exactly what it's going to do. And again, 32-bit XISF, extensible image serialization format, the PixInsight format. You can save it in a truncated TIFF, in FITS. I believe it's unsigned integer. But uh, it's great to be able to move seamlessly between PI, Graxpert, Gray Expert, and back again. So let's open that up. and put a uh, stretch on that. And that's a really, really beautiful field. We'll put a boosted auto stretch on that. And I think in this case, uh, you're, you're running right now to, uh, to download uh, Gray Expert, Graxpert. Uh, should have cropped beforehand. I see a little bit of problem over there on the border. That's something that you would want to do but no big no big deal at all